Urban Reef uh, was opened in 2017, uh, one year after the grocery store. Uh, we're part of Mission Waco. And you're standing here as our garden center. We talk a lot about food autonomy. Uh, what does that mean to grow your own food? Or uh, what does it mean to grow plants for wildlife? Uh, and then we'll, as I, we'll walk through, I'll show you part of our composting initiatives, right? So uh, as part of the food system, right, there's the production side, uh, and then of, towards the very end, the waste side of what do we do after maybe our food has gone bad or, or, or waste. And so I'll show you different composting initiatives that we have. We have a composting machine that we are able to take more than just the conventional stuff you can compost. Uh, so we have meat and dairy to that. Uh, and then we have our three bin, which is more of uh, what you could do in your backyard. Uh, we also have our aquaponics greenhouse. And so that one, um, we grow um, plants and water with a harmony of fish added to the system. Let me see. Uh, there's also mint if anybody wants any. To, I know some of you are from out of town, but there's some mint over here. She got some oregano. She said, take, take, take. What's interesting is for some of our herbs and our veggies too, the more we harvest, the more we'll produce the more the plant will produce. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you all. Uh, Garrison Street Garden. KBL began this garden, I think it was 2017, and I would pass by every now and then, like, okay, maybe that's where I need to be. <laughs> Watering and growing, and it's become a neighborhood project. Uh, we have Farmer's Market on today, matter of fact, from uh, five to eight and we also have students right for school come over they made their beds all you have to do through its watermelon drop it over there in that wire beam and it, you take mother nature and give it back to her the wire around it you put your garbage wherever uh, feasible for gardening you put it off in the wire area and it feeds the soil back all of that we need no you know uh, no meats and anything that's not compost. So this garden and the neighborhood have been a big step up for East Waco.